turning into the Cupcake Podcast. Could we possibly eat any more sugar over this weekend? Mm. And uh, uh, even just over the oh course of this Oh my God. Day. Oh yeah, this day. We were at Delightful Donuts. And we got cupcakes, 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 and I've been wanting to try the cupcakes. I don't think we've dared to try We that. haven't dared to try the cupcakes, so I'm really excited to. Also, I like that the cupcakes are reminiscent of flavors of the donuts. Yeah. We have a double chocolate. Mm -hmm. We have a cookies, cookies and cream. cream. We have a strawberry shortcake, which we tried in our first mm -hmm. review. Mm -hmm. We have a blue moon, but then we have a Biscoff cookie, which I'm dying to try because mm -hmm. I love anything Biscoff cookie mm -hmm. flavored. Yeah, that's what um, I'm looking forward to, too. Oh, my God. We have been having so much sugar, so many. And, and, and we went to and a beverages, brunch. And buffet. we went to a brunch today. So today oh, so. wow. So if you are new here, welcome. I am often doing makeup and makeup and random. skincare, random, random unboxings, damn. candle reviews. Although the, but we've kind but, of uh, become an unironic eating challenge. We've, channel. we've been an, we've become an unironic <laughs> food review channel. But I've always said I like my channel to be kind of lifestyle, kind of a little mm. bit of everything. And you know what? If you are a person who likes makeup, girly things, makeup stuff, a lot of people who are into that are into cupcakes that look Treats. like this. Treats. Oh my God, I'm dying to try this. All right, let's get some cupcakes going. Let's get some cupcakes going. Some cupcakes going. All right, we are not playing around. We are just getting right into So we're right just going right these. into Blue Moon? I think, well, what do you want to try first? Well, let's do Blue Moon because this has been moon. the most perplexed. Or is this cotton candy? Oh, is this it's cotton? cotton candy. It's got to be, right? Because look at the... I thought uh, it was Blue Moon. All right. Uh-oh. The Blue Moon one, if it is, we'll be able to tell because it's one of the more perplexing yes. uh, flavored this things. This has like a mint on the top. I, that's why I think it's cotton candy. I don't think it's a mint. I think it's like a circus God, candy. It looks so good. Yeah. You want to just take a... Yeah, take a quarter. We're out here at sunset doing this. Mm -hmm. All right, let's and, see. oh my God, oh. I'm just going to... Yeah, this is cotton candy. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Yeah. That is super party time. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Wow. If you're having a birthday, mm -hmm. screw that's the like cake birthday cake. Birthday cake 2.0. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Don't get a cake. Go mm -hmm. to this place if you're in Michigan, mm -hmm. in Metro Detroit. Mm -hmm. It's in downtown Mount Clemens. Information will be in the description oh. box. Coco's outside barking. She mm -hmm. wants cupcake. I'm gonna oh. hurl a cupcake at her. Mm -hmm. Wow. I really like That's that. That's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, um, stra uh, strawberry. Let's just go this way. Yeah. I want to do the Biscoff. These are hard to get out of here. We'll end on the Biscoff because that's mm -hmm. the one that's that I'm really excited about. It will be the most different. Mm -hmm. you know? Oh my god. Yeah. This has the little crunchies around the outside. It has a white chocolate little curly ribbon on it. Mm -hmm. let's see if I can get we can get the white chocolate in there. <gasps> we have filled. We, uh -oh. we have filling. filling confirmed. We have filling confirmed. We have strawberry filling in the cupcake. Ooh, yum. Oh my God. And so there's white chocolate. We have the crunchies. The other one wasn't filled. This one is. Cut you a piece of cupcake. I'm cutting What piece. would they fill it with? That's the, you know, Ooh. actual cotton candy. Yeah, that's true. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Once again, it's got that it's so light. strawberry kind of like confection. Yeah, like yeah, like strawberry fruit cereal. Not overly sweet. The the oh not exactly God. Jolly Rancher, but like bordering on that type of like By hyper way, strawberry flavor. Not insanely ridiculously sweet, mm -hmm. which I appreciate. No, it's pretty good. It's yeah. not insane. So do I you really want to uh, do the double? Chocolate yeah, let's first? do the double chocolate. We'll do the um, double chocolate, and then we'll do the fancy schmancy. You can look at this, and you can see that this is pretty straight up. You, almost anybody knows what this is. Yep, essentially this is what your you're essential. Get. Like if you're Frosting a chocolate lover, overload, your face oh, is going to yeah. vibrate. Yeah, we're going to do a small piece of this, just like really yeah, just thick, dense, dense chocolate. Oh my god, look at it's like fudge. Yeah. I'm gonna we have to cut this on your plate. This is the fudgiest frosting that they mm -hmm. I've had by them. Mm. Yeah, this is fudgy. Mm. The frosting tastes like brownie batter. It does. Mm -hmm. There it is. You have a more that is that actually is kind really of good. one of the more sort of surprising things about it. Is, mm -hmm. is, yeah, I thought this was just gonna be a big glob of frosting. No. It's pretty, yeah, pretty um rich. Yeah, like, oh, in, it's a, good. in an actual good chocolate way. Oh, it's not overly sweet. Mm. Again, it's not like a buttercream. It's almost like a fudge brownie right. frosting. Right. It's so 
thick. It's just, wait, I have to show this. I'm gonna show a close up of this one. So look at how solid the frosting is yeah. in there. That is, yep. but it like, it melts in your mouth, like fudge almost, or like a fudge brownie. That. This one got very melty today. Look, he's falling off the side there. That's a mess. This is a big one. So this is a cookies and cream. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> Just hit, move hit it aside up. like you did with the other one. Just oh, I can cut through the cookie. It's going through. Oh, we got. Oh, we made it through the cookie. <gasps> Filled. Filling <gasps> confirmed. Filling confirmed. And oh, we need to see a. I think this is gonna be side good. view. Look at that. Wow. All right. This is like looking. Let's dive in. This is insane. Dive in. Yeah. This is too good. And what are got, we having for dinner? Cupcakes. It's got the great like you know gray ooze mm -hmm. on top. Oh my god. Mmm. 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 Yes, yes, that's good. And this has that same very vanilla mm -hmm. frosting on the inside. I love that frosting. The cookie is a good donut, dude. Mm hmm. It's really, really super vanilla. Mm hmm. Soft. I love that the frosting on the top and the frosting on the inside are completely different. Mm -hmm. Completely different. Like, mm -hmm. here, let me yeah. try just a little piece of like just this frosting. Yeah. I'm trying a chunk. I'm trying. Yeah, try just the frosting. It's, um, mm. oh, it's like a buttercream. Mm -hmm. It has the butter in it. Mm. You get it? It's like, really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Oh my God. Now, this if is this is filled with cream, I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I just out of, out of like out of just cream, sheer, so yeah. Uh, I don't know. Um, Biscoff usually, if it's cream filled, I'm not gonna hate it. No, as I'm saying, but I'll just like my brain will be like in overload? overload. Yeah. Okay, let's see. All right. We didn't ask. All right, hopefully, let's see. I'm gonna be so surprised. Ooh. Uh oh. <laughs> it's not cream filled. Oh no. It is even better. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. It's cookie lump. It's cook it's cookie butter. It's cookie butter. Filled. If you're familiar it's cookie butter wow. filled. Wow. Okay, That's good. insanity. Oh my god. Man. That is Okay, you can buy the Biscoff cookie butter in the store. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't. You should. But you can. And I have. And I have eaten an entire <laughs> container of it in the past. First off, I'm trying this I'm frosting. Cut this one. I can tell you I'm going to I already love this because All right. I love I the Biscoff cookie Biscoff butter. Cookie butter, ding. Cheers to a fun tasting weekend. Mm -hmm. And our last one we were trying. Oh, look at his face. Oh my God. Jeremy's in cupcake heaven. As Lakeo had pointed out, Biscoff cookies remind her of flying on Delta. And mm -hmm. I was thinking the same exact thing when we saw this. I was like, oh, the Delta cookies. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Let's try some more of that. We need more of this one? Mm -hmm. This is the first one we're going in for That's more. unusual. I've never had a cupcake like this. Mm -hmm. Because it has that cookie butter in the mm -hmm. middle. Here, do you want the whole piece? Why not? Yeah, go ahead and knock yourself out. Mm, I'm going to taste some, just some cookie. Uh. Okay, this is the only one that we're finishing it. So that tells you something. I bet Laco would have loved this one. Mm. Too bad, Laco. And uh, she was like, I'm not great. I'm not that much of a cupcake person. If she tasted these. Yeah. Mm. She'd be going, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I you're know. not a cupcake person, these will convert you to being a cupcake person. Now, once person. again, two different types of things going on. They mm -hmm. didn't just... Fill it with the with the mm -mm. frosting on top. It's yep. like a different type of filling. Yeah, and it which, has cookie butter which I'm filling trying right now. and the frosting on the top that is like almost like a dolce de leche. I just I love the frosting. I could eat just like a can of this frosting that's on top of it. Yep, mm. the cookie butter is where it comes from. Mm -hmm. The thing that he does really well, the actual cake part of the cupcake itself, I ate just the cupcake, just a nice plain vanilla. Mm -hmm no flavor really standing out with it because right. it would compete with everything going on. But I'll tell you what I do like though too. Oh my God. It's the same with this and with the, that one is that he's not trying to recreate like a Biscoff cookie type mm -mm. of thing. It's like inspired by a Biscoff it's cookie. Inspired thing. By like it. you said, it's got the Dolce de Leche on mm -hmm. top, that kind of, mm. it's something that's not meant to, um, you know, represent that flavor at all. It's, yeah. it's like meant to um, just kind of, uh, enhance it, you know, sort of like uh, as a departure point. I just have to point something out. Yeah. No, we finished that one. Do the, try this, try just, here, just take that, try just the frosting. Mm -hmm. How different the consistencies of mm. every frosting in this box. 
this is like a Grenache, you know, like a ganache. Sorry, mm -hmm. Grenache is wine. Oh, um, ganache. <laughs> A ganache kind of like thick brownie kind of thing. Mm -hmm. This one is a little bit more like the consistency, the, the one that's on the cookies and cream. A little bit more of that like real sticky consistency like mm -hmm. that was on the Biscoff one. Right. And this one's um, creamier. That one is really creamy and light mm -hmm. and fluffy. And then this one is almost like candy-like in a weird way. And then it's got this like little cotton candy. Oh, yeah. What? Marbling on top. Cut yep. that in half and let's eat that. We need to see what it is. Yeah, but We're I don't know if it's going to... We're it won't cut. In these yeah, oh. well, there you go. Oh, there we go. Here. It's like it's like a it's like one of those. It's got that kind of like that after. It's a buttermint. Buttermint, yeah. Mm. It's a cotton candy buttermint. Mm -hmm. They have. Oh my now. god, it's so good. Mm. -hmm. Mm. How do you even rank these? I I know already because okay. I can do this stuff. Okay, I'm gonna change my mind. Holiday Don't waste your plates. So we have um, Happy Holidays. Six months. Even though it's um, in June, um, we're halfway to Christmas. Yes. No. Okay, so this one's easy. Um, <laughs> um, Says you. Okay. One, two. You have to tell which ones you're pointing to. They don't know. Yeah, yeah they do. Or cookies they just and watch cream. the whole video, presumably. Cookies right, and cream. Number so, one. so, so, cookies and cream, uh, Biscoff cookie, um, straw, uh, um, strawberry shortcake. What's strawberry shortcake? Strawberry shortcake. Strawberry shortcake. Cotton blue candy. Moon. It's blue moon. You think yes, I thought it, it was? I thought it was. I'm almost candy. positive it's blue one, but it was cotton candy. Okay, but it was um, cotton candy and um, double chocolate. Uh, double chocolate. Okay. Um, I, for, I went into this thinking that it was going to be, be that one first. That one, but this one edged it out with its refinedness. With the, mm, it was refined. Yeah. Oh my god! Now so you're many making flavors me, going on in there. Now you're making me think. Uh, okay, I mine is almost the same as yours. Mm. I am now that you said that. I am gonna agree with you. Mm -hmm. I think the cookies and cream is number one because the filling on the inside, Delicious. the cookie on the top, mm -hmm. the different kind of frosting. Mm -hmm. Normally I wouldn't even put a chocolate in first, mm -hmm. but this is like so exceptional, this cookies and cream. Yeah, that's what I would say. I would, just, normally I wouldn't put The cream on the inside is mm -hmm. like, it's um, like half of the, the cupcake and it's so good. And then I would do the, um, I mean a very close second, like, yeah. Just a little, like one little mark off would be the um, Biscoff. And then I would do the blue one, mm -hmm. Cotton Candy, Blue Moon, whatever mm -hmm. that. Cotton that candy. I swear to God, the sign said Blue Moon. Hey, okay. hey, hey, hey. Um, and candy. then I would go Strawberry. And then I would do the chocolate. And I agree, the double chocolate. I'm not so much of like a. I I have to have chocolate, chocolate, chocolate on top mm -hmm. of chocolate. What I love about the the split the cookies and cream is that it breaks up all of that chocolate with the cream right that being said if you are a chocolate lover you would definitely put this double chocolate number one mm -hmm. and it was hard to even rank these i even feel bad putting this little guy in last right because it was so good i feel like if it was maybe that like that double chocolate one again uh, because of the constraints of somehow of how, how we have to do these videos i feel like that if that one was 100 percent at room temperature it would, fresh yeah. out of the case it would be yeah we yeah, did um, we got my, these this morning it and still we wouldn't have for, but yeah. I'm, it still wouldn't have come in anywhere different to me to you yeah. in, in yep, this, yep, yep. Uh, yeah and it's funny because you would think that we put the biscoff number one because we ate the whole thing but it was mm -hmm. just it was really good like mm -hmm. you want to keep eating it but, but I this was say, just refined yeah this was so well put together mm -hmm. that yeah. it had that same frosting that the cake the the cake donut the devil food cake yeah. donut did that was just i don't know there's something about it there's that some frosting there's some, is so, that's good. so good and, that, and then, that inside that white yeah. on the inside yeah. is just like i just want to eat like a can of that frosting yeah that's the frosting it's, i'm talking yeah, about that, the white yeah. on the inside yeah not and, the then, top and then the, and top, the top frosting, frosting was like, also uh, it, it's like a buttercream and it's right. but it's light it's and not then like the cookie and then the dense devil food yeah. and the crisp crumbles yeah it's it, everything so many about things perfect. going on in yeah. there that is just excellent so excellent good. yeah so, the biscoff uh very delicious but still um pretty more kind of uh, like 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 more kind of i guess like it's a straightforward yeah, yeah and it's, it's also it's, a specialty one like mm. you got to really be in the mood for a biscoff cookie mm. that kind of flavor even though there was a lot um, of things going on in mm -hmm. there it was still very it was much really more straightforward uh -huh. so but it was so good okay so we are done and thank you for 
sacrificing all your workout galleries to doing tastings. That's why right? I'm a, I'll I probably know. go to the gym tomorrow and hit a huge PR. Because, <laughs> yeah, because yes. Because <laughs> I just like carbo loaded. Yeah, carbo loaded donuts and mm. cupcakes all weekend. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Put those calories yeah. to work, people. Yes, thank you. Delightful donuts and cupcakes. We love you guys. I can't mm. wait to see you when I come back in town. I will see you in the next one very soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And all the information about this place will be below. Unfortunately, they are in Michigan, in Metro Detroit, north of Detroit. Unless you're in Metro Detroit. Unless you're in Metro Detroit, then you're Metro lucky Detroit. and it is worth the drive. If you are within an hour of this place, like uh -huh. I almost say, like if you're making a trip out to like the Mount Clemens area, make sure you look up their hours. They sell out early a lot of mm -hmm. times. And it'll say what their hours are, but check their Facebook. They will sell out of things and have to close early because they just run out. They're in one location, family owned. Mm -hmm. So good. They do not have uh, vegan and gluten free there. Mm -hmm. I, did, I didn't mention that in other videos. Yeah, they um, they don't have. Donuts. No, if you're looking for diet or specialty, they mm -hmm. don't have it. They don't have vegan, they don't have gluten free. You weren't there when I, when I talked to Gail about this. They did try gluten free there. She said mm -hmm. everybody asked for gluten free. Mm -hmm. So he said. On Thursdays, we're going to do gluten-free. Uh -huh. So if you can come out on Thursdays, we're going to yeah, have gluten-free no stuff. She said they never sold one. And this she is said they what had, always happens with gluten-free everything. Everybody you know. asked for it. Yeah. Like uh, There was enough of a demand for it that everybody asked for it. So he made it, and then nobody bought it. I see. Here's the so thing. I'm like, going gonna, gonna to get a hot take for a second. If I was <laughs> a baker, uh -huh. I would really be like, listen, I bake confectionery things. Some of them got more gluten. Some of them got less gluten. But I can't yeah. tell you that I'm going to make bake good offerings, mm. come up with recipes specifically to be gluten free. Be like, I'm just making the best things mm. I know how to make. I think these would suffer if you split his energy trying to turn these into mm. gluten free. It would never be the same. Yeah. And and they'd be like, do you have anything gluten free? I, I got grapes. There's coffee. <laughs> From my lunch. <laughs> I'd be like, there's, yeah. there's coffee. There isn't gluten free and vegan, but that's not what he specializes in. Mm -hmm. It's one person baking right. everything. And I'm that. sure he doesn't want to take the loss on all those gluten free products. He yeah, no, she right said, into the trash yeah, she said that the unfortunately, the like they didn't sell any. And again, we're just going on with the tangent. To be a baker that makes cupcakes and like donuts this, this and good. Then, and then it's like, but you're gluten free, but somebody ba judges you based on your gluten free offerings that you're just making to offer gluten-free mm -hmm. something yeah you know do what you're good at this uh -huh. is what he's good at mm. they're like telling a painter that... can you make me a painter without black and white paint just <laughs> just mix it all with primary colors you know? <laughs> okay <laughs> so, it's gonna look then like say, a clown. this doesn't look realistic yeah you know? <laughs> yeah exactly so if you are looking for vegan and gluten-free this is not your place to go. Also, when you do gluten free, you usually have to have all dedicated cookware mm. and all that stuff because you don't want to cross contaminate, mm. and then you're liable for cross contamination. I mean, if somebody can is you truly contaminate serious. something with yes. gluten, mm -hmm. I thought yes. that was just like nut allergies. Mm -mm. You, know? you can no gluten, nothing. Mm. No. Also, they are very careful with like nut allergy things. Like she, she will tell you if you're getting something that has nuts in it. Mm. She's like, does anyone you know have a nut allergy because mm. this has peanuts in it? And you can it's ask mostly them. Mostly pecans. Too. Yeah. Pecans well they had a they had a peanut, uh, chocolate peanut donut uh but there are and we won't be covering any of this in this video but there's gluten-free places all over the within place. walking distance of this yep place. oh yeah there's a lot of other places that do have gluten that's outside of the scope of what yes. we're doing right now yeah so, so um, i just want, wanted to mention that because i don't want somebody to drive an hour and go they have nothing gluten-free it's mm. like no, they don't. Yeah. Or vegan. Can you imagine so. that too? Again, going off on the tangent here. So the place uh -huh. next door that like specializes in gluten-free everything. And then when your customer comes in and says, well, you know, his gluten-free, you know, so-and-so brown Betty bar is better than yours. And it'd be like, yeah, how's his uh, cookie? How's his <laughs> yeah. not gluten-free? Yeah. 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 Tell me how his cotton candy cupcake is. Yeah. Then. I've baked gluten-free stuff and it's really, it's an art to get it to taste good. Good and to have the consistency be good mm. you can tell with how much stuff he makes on mm. a daily basis mm. just juggling all of these ingredients and all right. of these flavors mm. you throw it's like somebody juggling yeah. you know a certain number of balls in the air and then you throw like a basketball in right. there going here's gluten free and he's like ah you know it's just you're trying to do it's mm. trying to do too much so i kind of applaud him for knowing his limits and saying you know what we yeah. tried it 
and they did try it. Yeah. She said we did a couple of times gluten free. Nobody bought it. Yeah. And then she's like, and that's all a and loss. They get the loss like, in all the ingredients, this, which are expensive. When yeah. Gluten. It's not exactly like because it, it it's different, but but the notion of being a person that creates things, it's like people would you know if I'm talking to somebody about making knives, people will come, they'll come up talking. and they'll be like, well, can you make like a samurai sword? And you're just like, do you need? Do, I'm sorry, did you need a samurai sword? <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. know, like, if I made one, would you buy one? No. No. <laughs> I, I have samurai swords on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I like my samurai sword forge on Tuesday. Yeah, nobody shows up. Nobody shows up. You have a certain size forge. Mm -hmm. To start making full, like, samurai swords mm -hmm. and shit, that would take away from the knife. Well, but, the, like I said, it, it's just not what I do. And it's so why would I, do. like, all of a yep. sudden do it? Well, you know? I had that when, um... When I was doing paintings and doing portraiture, mm. you know, doing pet portraits, uh -huh. I had people go, do you do watercolors? I'm uh -huh. like, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah. Well, would you do one for me? Uh, no. Yeah. I don't specialize in watercolors. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, I will do you a killer oil mm. painting. Uh -huh. I'll do an acrylic. I suck at watercolors. I'm but fine I want, saying that. I want, I'm not, clown, I'm not, I want a watercolor of clowns with a balloon. Uh, I'm not your person. A I'm not your guy. With, a clown with clowns with a balloon. Or a clown with You balloons. had too much sugar, and we need to, like, <laughs> cut this off now. <laughs> Jeremy's sugar, he ate too much sugar, and now he's talking about clown paintings and balloons and watercolors. <laughs> That's the same kind of thing, like, when you're a painter, and somebody, you can do oils, you can do... Mm -hmm. um, and also, then it's a thing, too, where you need, you have different brushes, you have different mediums, and you start getting into this, like, in the weeds. Different you know? subject matters. Different subject matters. Dogs, oh, I've had people... Yeah, it's clowns with balloons. Clowns with balloons, cats with balloons, <laughs> yeah. chinchillas with balloons. No, and the, I've had that, too, where I had somebody say, oh, well, I know you specialize in oil paintings of dogs and uh -huh. acrylics, and I specialize in pet portraits. Well, I really want my kid painted. Uh -huh. And I go, good luck with that. Yeah. Uh, go look on Etsy. or I mean, I don't do portraits of people. Let's wrap like, it up. Yeah. So, people, but, you're yeah. either going to get to hear everything that we just talked about, or, or there's going to be a huge them. cut, and it's going to be just a little darker in the background. Yeah. And everything <laughs> we talked about is going to be We're gone. leaving this in. Yeah. But I think that's a good a good ex explanation right. of like the gluten free thing. Yeah. It's, this is his art. This is what he does well. Right. To ask him to like do a whole bunch of stuff for a very small part because of the population. Because you're not going to show because yeah, and because then, you're not going to show up and buy it when he does. Yeah, yeah, and it's and it's not fair to him. It's not yeah. fair to people who like this stuff because oh. the quality of this right. might go down. Where he's and trying I to, don't think that I appreciate people that actually do have the courage, courage conviction that, to say not, maybe not even conviction but just courage to say that's not my strong suit i focus on confectionery treats you know based yeah. on recipes that i've come up with yeah. and, and have perfected um there yeah. are plenty of places to go get those things yeah, and, and they presumably you. Yeah, those people like, yeah. are better at doing yep it, you know like yeah so. i know clementine's for a fat mm. sells gluten-free mm -hmm. they sell um clementine's bakery Right down the road, gluten free and vegan. Mm, right. They have a whole lower shelf that's all gluten free right. and vegan. Uh, so, and they know Clementine's; they're uh, friends. And so they Clementine's, will happily say, "Go over to Clementine's." They don't have one single anything like this. Uh, uh, the uh, birthday cake. Uh, Although that rice Cotton crispy, that rice crispy treat was really good. Yeah, the rice they make a kill, but that's the same thing. Like he doesn't make rice crispy treats at right. delightful. But you but, know who does? Who you know who does? Crumble cookie makes Rice oh, Krispie God. treats. Oh, God, don't go into Crumble cookie. And then they, they shape it in a cookie, and then they sell it to you for the same price that they sell cookie. you a cookie. <laughs> We is, have, we're uh, having beef uh, uh, with crumble cookies right now after all right, we, we have to we're out of here okay this is, yeah <laughs> we're, now it's like silly factor this is turning into the cupcake podcast which it is <laughs> oh my not. god it could you not. imagine starting yeah. a cupcake and cookie yeah. podcast you'd be we'd be like when we're not eating this we're at the gym yeah. working it off okay thanks for watching i'll see you next one bye, bye. no more sugar no more sugar